So Webflow just recently wrapped up their world tour, which was nine virtual events over eight time zones over the past three weeks. And at the end of their world tour, they did a maker day, which is a 24 hour hackathon, build anything in Webflow in 24 hours. And they're giving away a bunch of cool prizes. And I unfortunately did not have time to build and submit something myself. But in this video, I'm going to go through some of the maker day submissions. This is just a few. I don't have time to go through all of them, but you should definitely go check them out. And I'll post links to each and every one of these in the description below. So be sure to go check them out. Voting ends tomorrow. Everybody who submitted is competing for iPads and a bunch of other cool prizes. Uh, so definitely go check it out and go give them your votes. All right, let's get to it and check them out. FinSuite created this really cool prototype for this backend private API for the Webflow Global Maker Day. And the concept is super cool. This is what they mocked up. So uh, the idea is you'd be able to add an integration. So for example, Airtable, you could add that integration into Airtable inside of the designer itself, which is super cool. And then it would work something like this. So if we preview it, you could then, hello everyone at example.com. So this is a Webflow form and you click submit and this is their Airtable and you can click refresh and you can see it automatically populates that form submission. This is super, super cool because it basically eliminates the need for Zapier, at least in this regard. I use Zapier quite a lot to tie a Webflow form to like ConvertKit or to Airtable or to other things. And this would basically remove the need to have Airtable do that. So I believe Webflow is making something similar with their logic flows. I think that's the, the idea behind logic flows is something like this. But this private API key thing that FinSuite built is actually really cool. You could potentially integrate member stack and Airtable and basically any third party tool that you want directly into Webflow and then have them speak directly to each other without needing Zapier or some middleman in between them which is awesome. So FinSuite, really nice work on this. Super cool idea, I dig it. If you guys wanna vote for it, check a link below. Tom Green created Mailfolio, which in his words, it's mailbox, but reverted open to the public. So this is what it looks like. It's a email app, which is pretty cool to see stuff like this built in Webflow things outside the standard website. So you can see all the messages, see the individual message, uh, compose, uh, which looks like a form. Can you submit this? Let's try. Hey, at mckinseychild.me. Hello, Tom. Hello there. Does it work? Oh, look at that. So it's an actual form that submits. That's cool. It's got some search. Let's see. Webflow, and he's showing some search results. So Tom said he built this in five hours, which I think is very impressive. So <laughs> nice work, Tom. I'll add a link if you want to check it out and vote for it. Okay, so this one is dope. It's by Melissa Bogwanden. I really hope I pronounced your name right. Sorry if I didn't, but she built, she designs. So uh, check this out. As you scroll, this like Lottie animation plays and it writes out because she knows she can. It's got some subtle interactions. It's got the scrolling, yes. So, so this is super, super cool. The design is great. The interactions are awesome. So by the look of it, it's like live design classes for women to help them in their design careers. I really, really like the, uh, the scroll animation here where it writes out because she knows she can. It's super fun to watch it. So Melissa, this is fantastic work. The design is super cool. The interactions give it a nice polish. So really, really well done. I'll of course add a link to this so you can go check it out and go vote for it because Melissa did a fantastic job. Okay, so Joshua Fry built this really fun CSCF Bowie Bowie Giraffe Giraffe memory matching game. So it's a memory pair game. You just gotta like flip them over and try to get the correct ones. Yes. In the time limit. 
success. So Josh, super cool that you were able to build this in Webflow. Go watch his video on his voting page. He has a video where he explains a little bit of how it's set up and how he went about building this, if you're curious about how he did it. So he said he built this natively in Webflow minus a little bit of custom code for, for the randomization of the cards. So really nice work, Joshua. I dig it, it's super fun. You can go to matchpairs.webflow.io to check this out and I'll add a link to go vote for this if you like it. Okay, this one is pretty fun. It's by Annie, Elia, and Melissa. So what they built was some night cityscapes. And when you scroll over it, you can hover and it plays this Lottie animation, which shifts the perspective as if you're like viewing the city from different angles. So basically they took like several images, cropped them out, and then like animated them in After Effects to like sit over top of each other and like shift the perspective. So they have Tokyo, they have London, Edinburgh, Scotland, Tel Aviv, Israel. It's super, super fun. So basically they animated the Lottie animation to play based on where your mouse is hovering over the container. It's a super cool idea. So I would have thought that this is just several images that they animated on top of each other to shift the perspective, but they actually made this a Lottie animation, which is probably a much smaller file size. So it's a much smarter way to go about that. So this is super fun. I really like how they did this. Uh, you can go to nightcityscapes.webflow.io to check it out. And if you like it, be sure to give it a vote. All right, so Sarkis is at it again. He is currently building macOS Big Sur. And for his Maker Day challenge, he redesigned and built Zoom. So I've watched his video, but I haven't checked it out yet. So let's open it up and see what it looks like. All right, Zoom wants to use my camera. Okay. All right, let's jump in. Look at this. <laughs> oh, he's crazy. All right, let's open up Zoom. It's got some funny animations playing in the background. It's pulling in the actual time. Oh shit, I can move this around. <laughs> That's cool. So I can join a meeting. <laughs> this is wild. All right, um, let's see. Let's start a meeting. Ooh, who is that? Okay, so I think this is supposed to be my camera, but it's pulling in the wrong one. But here I am, anyway. <laughs> so I think these are just little videos to simulate the Zoom call. Let's see, do these do anything? <laughs> Look at that. Okay, so of course, Sarkis, this is super awesome work. You're on a level all to yourself. Okay, so if you want to check this out, go to zooms.webflow.io and I'll add a link so you can go vote for this if you like it. Sarkis, love what you're doing. Keep it up. Nice work, man. All right, this submission is by Colleen Brady. So you can't really see what's going on on her actual demo site, but most of it is happening in the background. So she built something really cool. So basically what she built was a automated social media image workflow. So basically the data is being stored in Airtable. Placid app creates the images. Then Integromat checks if Webflow has images. If not, it basically takes it from Airtable and sends it over to Webflow and adds it there. So this is really cool automation. Very nice work, Colleen. At some point, I'm gonna do something similar to this on Flamingo, but if you're constantly creating new social media images for blog posts or whatever, it's really cool to know that you can basically automate the entire process so you don't have to do it manually. She has a little video walking through how it's all set up if you wanna check that out. So I'll post a link so you can go check out that video and vote for her project if you like it. All right, so Ryan Hayward built a virtual event platform or an MVP of a virtual event platform. I watched his video walkthrough of it. It seems pretty cool. He's using MemberStack for memberships, JetBoost for like filtering and stuff, Video Ask for onboarding surveys, um, Hivor for global commenting, and then Whereby for um, some video meeting. So this is what it looks like. I'm gonna go ahead and sign up and check it out. People call me Kinsey password. Yeah, that's probably not good to show a password like that. <laughs> How would you best describe yourself? Welcome to my project for the Webflow. Whoa. I am, I don't know, beginner, I guess. 
call you on Webflow. All right, let's skip the onboarding. Tells you to join Slack. That's kind of cool. Okay, so the design of this is super, super sleek. Nice work on that, Ryan. It's got some fun 3D illustrations. Okay, so it has a live video. I think this is supposed to be a live video chat from YouTube. Let's see what else we got. It has a uh, community chat, so that's cool. Hey, yo. Comment, comment as guest. Oh, come on. Meters, boom. It looks like it has some upvoting using JetBoost. That's awesome. View the agenda. So you can add the agenda items to your schedule. So yeah, I really, really dig this. The design is awesome. There's a few things not working, but this is just an MVP and a prototype and a really good one at that. So very nice work, Ryan. It's crazy that you put this together in less than 24 hours. If you wanna check it out, go to webflow-hackathon.webflow.io. And I'll of course post a link to the voting page if you want to give him an upvote. Okay, Laura Mansfield built this super, super sleek looking landing page for a luxury property developer, a client of hers, and it's super, super polished. Let's check it out. So it has some super fancy animations. Everything just like slides in and it's all animated. That plus the big images gives it a very, very nice polished feel. You scroll down, it just has a couple sections, call out sections, and then a make your appointment. She said this was her first Webflow project. I am very, very impressed. This is super, super well done. So very nice work, Laura. So normally I don't really like over the top animations like this, but I feel like this, but I feel like she's done it in a very subtle way. So it's not too much. It just feels very clean, very polished. So. 10 out of 10 would recommend. This is great. Very, very nice work. You can go to theoval.webflow.io to check it out for yourself. And of course, I'll post a link so you can go vote for it if you like it. All right, so this one's pretty cool. Christopher Ray prototyped what it would be like if the Webflow editor was fully responsive. So this is what it looks like. This actually makes a lot of sense for the editor to be responsive because the editor is used a lot by clients who don't go into the designer itself, but just use the editor to add blog posts, change copy, change links, images, and such all of which they could and probably should be able to do from their phone. So it's just a prototype. So a lot of these links don't quite work, uh, but if we scale it down, it is fully responsive. So that's pretty cool. So yeah, I really like the idea of this being responsive. So nice work mocking this up, Christopher. If you want to check this out, go to responsive-webflow-editor.webflow.io and you can play around with it yourself. And of course, I'll add a link to go vote for this if you like All it. All right, so that was just a few of them. Uh, there's quite a bit more in the project gallery. So go to webflowmakerday.devpost.com and you can find all the projects that were submitted for this Maker Day challenge. I just wanna say congrats to everybody who participated in this. You've done crazy awesome work. Seeing everything that has been built in less than 24 hours is super, super cool. Just shows you how powerful Webflow is and how fast you're able to move in it. So yeah, that's all for this video. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.